So what I got here, <laughs> this guy got me yesterday. I was also in the Ruby. Good oatmeal. Yeah. Maybe SRS something. Yeah. Good. SRS. Look at you. All dirty. Clean that beak up. <laughs> you too. Look at you. So we have this humongous drawer here, like a junk drawer of all kinds of crazy stuff, right? Cables for testing, headphones, you know, extra media to test stuff. And I was looking for this uh, set of screws that I had in here. And look what I came across. This is kind of unique. Let me set the camera down and show you guys. So this is a company called uh, Aesthetic, made in USA. Definitely vintage. I don't, I don't even believe they make these anymore. These are needles, cartridges for playing 78s, for playing um, 78 records. They're a little tiny. There's actually, so they're easy to replace. You pull one out, you put this one in, and then you take the cap off. Oh gosh, I gotta grab the phone, hold on. Important message from your Google listing. Right. So anyway, these are, these are, uh, plug and play needles and there's actually two needles when you take that cap off I don't know if the camera can pick it up let's see maybe so there's two needles on each side uh, these are actually they're like one one mil precision synthetic set fire needles and believe it or not these are pretty expensive they're usually like 20 25 bucks a piece I'm like why do we have all five of these just kind of stashed away I'm gonna give the give these to Vicky and have her listed. That's like hundred bucks sitting in a drawer, you know. Look, look for this brand, Aesthetic, and the model is uh, 89T. Yep, for playing 78s. Love it. I, always, uh, always fun to find stuff stashed away, you know. All right, so the the metal eight and all the accessories and the motor just sold. The guy went uh, to grab some money from the bank and uh, the M1 bayonet with the belt also sold. Michael, thank you so much. I'm shipping it out just in a couple hours, so you should get it in a couple days. I think you're going to like it a lot. It's a nice, nice antique piece of military. Thank you for your purchase, both of you guys. Can anybody guess what this is? Anybody? Well, it opens up. It's actually a cover for a pickup truck bed. This will fit any GMC or Chevy truck, like from 2005, I believe, all the way to, I think, 2013 or 14. Six foot bed. Picked it up for 45 bucks. I should be able to get about probably 120 out of it in very good condition guy said it's set in his garage never used and i can tell it was never used because all these get wetter down you know the the rubber strips that lay against the bed so they're like new so a little bit dirty from carrying around but so this should be a pretty good flip lots of guys need those especially right now in a winter to cover their trucks so good good pickup what's up guys um, I think I'm gonna pass on this. Just because we've got a lot of Nintendo portables at the moment. Oh, yeah, the whole car over there. <sighs> She's 43. She's up there. Yeah, get back on the stick. I can't. I'm at 50 bucks. I don't know. 25 each. So Tony brought me all kinds of goodies here, like all kinds of goodies, and I don't want to buy anything. And then he says, "This box, you gotta, you gotta look in, in this box. You're gonna love what's in this box." Well, guess what's in this box? That's what's on my neck. I don't think this is gonna work, Tony. <laughs> Scarves. Scarves. Oh, scarves. Yeah. You can tie yeah. stuff. Who yeah. wants scarves? Don't buy one, get two. Yeah, buy one, get one free, or there buy three, go. get one free. Not interested. 
Okay. Tony, I, I, I know, I know. <laughs> Um, I can't do this. No. What's it called? Uh, yeah, I'm hang a bit. Would you, okay. That guy, the, you know the treadmill? That, remember you delivered that? Oh yeah, the big you guy? Want, you want a bag? Want to buy a bag? Not really. I know you want a bag. That was it. Okay, eight, eight, eight bucks. Okie dokie. Is this the mic on? Yes, it is. So just a few minutes ago I showed you guys these. And this is a couple hours later now. Vicky listed all of these little n n needles for 78. And one of them just sold. 21.95. You gotta love that. How am I gonna ship this? There's no weight to it. I don't know. Anyway, this sold as well. I got a bunch of these a couple weeks ago. And they've been selling every couple days. Uh, I don't know if I should, can I open this so you guys can see it? Yeah, I think so. So it's a little flask from uh, Jemison to put your uh, scotch or whiskey in there. But what's cool about it, right here in the middle, there's actually, and we were wondering like, what's rattling in there? When you open this up and you look in there inside, you see like a divider and you go, why is there a divider in there? And the way we found out that actually this pops out like so in a center here, see, there's a hole and this extends like this and you have a little shot glass. Isn't that cool? And we had no idea and Nick found this when he went to list them, we had no idea that these actually had glass uh, shots in them. Not glass, but metal shots in them. Yeah, Nick, they've been selling pretty good, and we got only two left. Okay. Yeah, so people bad. like these, you know? What about the other cups? The little thingy? I think we sold one okay. so far. I meant the other, the None. Like beer can. Okay. <laughs> None. So. Because that one sold for $50. Yeah, that was crazy, though. Yeah. So yeah, I got a couple of these left. Pretty good price, guys. Thirty-four ninety-five I got for these. So, and I think I paid like two dollars a piece, or something like that, or maybe three dollars a piece. A bunch of stuff I bought from that guy that day, and I think I gave him like thirty bucks for everything or something. Now I have to put this in gentle so it doesn't rip. There it goes. Yeah, and this only weighs like seven ounces, so easy to ship. Love it! Look at you, you're all wet. You just take a shower, look at you, you're all wet. How about you? Your beak is peeling. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. Gotta get you a new stone inside that cage so you can. Yeah, <laughs> you're trying to grab it. <laughs> Hello, honey. Well, guys, today is Saturday morning. Right before open, it's like quarter to ten. I gotta share something with you. So, what I got here, <laughs> this guy got me yesterday. Let me, uh, let me talk about this. So, what's happening here right before close yesterday? like 10 minutes to seven, right before we close. And there's few people here. This guy shows up, he wants to sell me Michael Jordan jersey. This is Swingman, Swingman jersey. You have to be here, hon? Do you have to be here? With tags, brand new Nike Bulls, Chicago Bulls, Swingman jersey. Looks all good, I check it out, it's stitched on, beautiful condition, with tags, brand new, looks legit, right? We go back and forth, back and forth on a price, and I know these swingmans, these swingmans can go like 120, 130, 140 bucks in a store, depends where you go. Like if you go on um, the NBA shop, uh, 
NBA store online, they're like $120. Although right now they're out of stock actually on MJ stuff. But anyway, back and forth, we agree on a price. I buy it. Um, even the bag has number 54 here, which is the 54 right here. So I pay him, he leaves. And I didn't pay a whole lot, but I did pay. <laughs> Guess what? I don't think this is legit. I think he got me. This replica is done so good, but after closer in inspection, things start popping up on this. Like the spacing between the lettering, it doesn't seem right to me. The stitching on the back of a Jordan here, I hope this shows up here actually. Like there's lines crossing in between. This should never happen like this. Uh, stuff is not aligned correctly. Like for example, when uh, on this side, where was it? Yeah, like, you know, when on top on a shoulder, these two are stitched and, you know, black is not aligning with black correctly. Like stuff is just, it feels right but it's not there you know and then the biggest giveaway i notice today morning i notice that all the swingman jerseys from nike have mj's logo heel you know the his logo like he's dunking the ball plus the size number and everything should be right here i think this guy got me look look at on this letter s right here you got you got lines coming out i mean i think this is a fake jersey even though that everything looks legit on it i mean this tag looks legit everything on it looks legit the serial number looks legit the side swingman looks legit so i think he took me i think he got me pretty good uh even like the stitching here like it's not smooth, like you could see like it's, something is not right. So what I'm gonna do, I'm not gonna put this in a shop for sale here. I don't wanna do that. I don't want somebody have a knockoff jersey. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm, I'm like 99% sure that this is not real. <laughs> if any of you guys are interested and you want this jersey, just leave me a comment below. Maybe there's some experts out here. Maybe you guys know what I supposed to be looking on this. I mean. Over the years, I bought so many jerseys, and I'm pretty good about them, but this one doesn't seem to be legit, and this is, I think, the biggest giveaway. And it was busy right before closed, and he just got me. So if you guys want this, if you want this jersey, write down below in comments, I want this jersey. And I'm going to do a random pick, um, like a random generator from all the comments. I'll enter... I'll enter all the names and we'll pick one and hey, maybe, I mean, it's still nice looking jersey from MJ, but I don't think it's legit. I think this guy got me. Whew. End of the day. Saturday night. We got so busy in here today afternoon that I had no time even to go to the bathroom. I haven't been recording much because we were so busy picked up this great um, Graflex vintage camera love stuff like that uh, probably not fully functional because it's just old and it's pretty beat up but still there's lots and lots of collectors for stuff like that paid 50 bucks for that it can go anywhere from a hundred to about five hundred dollars Super Nintendo uh, with some games Super Mario World here but some of the other games are not worth much. Uh, good pickup there. Got this super interesting, it's called Circuit. It's a printer that uh, cuts out uh, different stuff on a vinyl with a bunch of cartridges to go with it. A whole box of these. So we've been super busy here all afternoon, guys. And I didn't get a chance to really record any transactions or anything like that. Um, but that's it. Yeah, hon. Were you busy today? You were very busy, girl. Time to uh, time to go chill a little bit. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. 
and uh, till next time. Cheers.